A website's job is really very simple. Sure, it needs to look good. Sure, it needs to clearly articulate what it is that you do or offer. It needs to get that visitor, that ideal client, customer, or patient to take an action, whether that's to pick up the phone and call or to fill out the form. In this video, we're gonna go over the five things every website homepage needs to have to convert that visitor into a client, customer, or patient. The first thing the home page must have is something we call a hero image. Today you'll go to websites and you'll see a large graphic at the very top. The large graphic is above the fold and it's the first thing a visitor sees. The purpose of that hero image is to capture that visitor's attention long enough to get them to read the copy on it. And how do you do that? Well, the easiest way to capture somebody's attention is to reflect back themselves. So if your target is couples in their 30s, then the hero image would reflect a couple in their 30s. If your target market is females above the age of 50, then the hero image will have a female above the age of 50. Now when you serve multiple demographics, multiple targets, this is more challenging. Sometimes that can be accomplished with a slider or that is a changing image, but other times you can handle that by just using an image that kind of covers the common ground that is the most common one. The Lampkin Clinic, well they target family medicine. So you have couples, you have children, and you have elderly. In their hero image they chose to cover all these. They're focusing on the children here, but they have the others in the background. This family medicine orientation is transferred to that visitor by a hero image like this. 360 Consulting targets businesses and business people and they serve a wide variety of demographic profiles. Showing a business setting with two business people that are both male and female allow them to communicate to the visitor that they are targeting business people. Phoenix Integrative Medical Center is a family medical center. Best way to communicate that is to show a family so that when somebody goes to their website and wants to know more about them, they'll see a family and they'll be engaged with that. The second thing the homepage must have is a call to action. A call to action is intended to get the visitor to do something. It's usually to either make a phone call or fill out a form. But that call to action has to be very specific. And there are two types of calls to action. You have direct calls to action and transitional calls to action. A transitional call to action is most common with services businesses where you want to engage somebody initially before they make that first appointment. For example, you may schedule a consultation or review. Content First Marketing has a call to action to schedule your free review. 360 Consulting has a call to action to schedule a free consultation. Hamby Insurance, they want you to get a quote. And those are all examples of transitional calls to action. However, a direct call to action is a type of call to action that is intended to get the person to buy now. You want that person that arrived at your website to actually execute a transaction. Aaron Botsford's website has an enroll today. That direct call to action to enroll today allows you to purchase one of her programs directly. These two calls of action are used appropriately by different types of businesses depending on what your sales cycle looks like. For something that the person can make the decision with the information on the website and can move quickly, a direct call to action is appropriate. The most common example is buy now. For any other kind of business where the person needs to get more information, they need to have a consultation, they need to have a call, a transitional call to action makes more sense. That's where you want to capture their information so you can have a follow on activity or a follow on meeting with that person. The third thing every homepage must have is a plan. We call it a three-step plan. The purpose of this is to show how that visitor is going to engage with you. No matter how complicated your business, you need to make it sound very simple to work with you. At Content First Marketing, the three-step plan is schedule your free strategy call, approve your integrated marketing plan, and enjoy consistent growth. 
Often the third step in the plan is the positive outcome they will experience when working with you. The Denver Vein Center begins with scheduling an appointment, getting expert treatment, and their positive outcome is that you'll love your legs again. They specialize in varicose vein treatment. At Phoenix Integrative Medical Center, you schedule your appointment, you get your customized plan, and you start feeling your best. In Hamby Insurance, they simplify it. Get in touch, get a quote, get complete coverage. Their plan is simple. Having a simple three-step plan on the homepage makes it really easy for that visitor to understand how to engage, and it also clearly tells them what their first step needs to be to get started with you. The next thing, that fourth item on your homepage, well, that's fresh content. Fresh content shows that you are a thought leader. It shows that you are actively producing something new. It shows that you are a serious organization. And every organization should have some sort of content strategy to convey their expertise in a way that positions them as that thought leader. A simple way to do that is on the home page, you have your latest posts. Now, whether those are blog posts or videos or some other type of content, they just need to be pre presented on the home page as they come out. In the case of content first marketing, it's a combination of videos and blog posts. The Lampkin Clinic shows their latest blog posts. Phoenix Integrative has their most recent four items in their news feed. And Hanby Insurance has their Hanby blog. Every organization has a different way of communicating their area of expertise, their thought leadership. But the simplest way to do it on the website is to have a blog, a video, or something else in the form of articles that can be shared, indexed by Google, and positioning your brand as the thought leader and the expert. Now the final thing organization must have on their homepage is some form of marketing automation. Now the easiest way to do that is to capture contact information when they're scheduling an appointment with you or getting a consultation or some sort of free review. In the case of 360 Consulting, I can schedule my free consultation. And when I do that, I'm capturing that information into a Customer Relationship Management System, or CRM, and I'm likely tying them into some form of marketing automation. That is an automated series of emails that goes out to that person. Yes, they use this to communicate their needs and the schedule an appointment, but it also gives them more information that will help them make good decisions. And if you want to learn more about that, you can click the link on creating the perfect autoresponder above. 360 makes it simple as well by putting a request to callback right on the homepage. Content First Dart Marketing does this in two ways. They have a simple way to subscribe on the homepage, and they also have a pop-up that comes up from time to time that offers more information if they provide their contact information. And for Denver Vein Center, their contact form shows the type of treatments that you can inquire about, and it has a simple way for you to put your information in. All these different methods are tied to marketing automation. Getting somebody's contact information and then doing a follow-up sequence using an autoresponder is the way to handle that. The five elements on a homepage are the building blocks to creating a website that is intended to convert. A website that is to get the visitor to take an action that will move them down through the sales cycle. You capture a contact, you nurture their interests, and then you convert them into a customer, client, and patient. I hope this is helpful for you. I make videos like this every week. If you're interested in learning more, please click like and subscribe. I'd also like to hear your thoughts on the five things every homepage must have. Maybe you do something different. Put that in the comments. That would help as well. Thanks again for your time, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.